Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski with a Forex quick look at the dollar versus Canada. Today's date is October 4, 2023. Starting off by looking at the uh, daily chart, the uh, price is reaching a new high in the uh, dollar versus Canada, new high going back to this day, March 24th. Uh, and in uh, doing so, uh, we're moving further away from this uh, swing area on the daily chart, which had a number of different uh, swing highs through here. Um, there but you can get get my point right through here some swing lows through here and then re-established uh, the highs through here and uh, even early, uh, in September uh, and uh, in trading yesterday the price moved above this uh, swing area at the 137.04 and uh, in trading here today the price did move below that level in uh, early trading but then rebounded back to the upside we've been uh, you know in, in uh, until recently uh, trading in a sideways uh, pattern through here uh, trading here today, moving to the hourly chart until the last hourly bar where the price finally extended uh, to the upside here. Crude oil prices are heading to the downside, which is helping to uh, support the uh, dollar Canada. Uh, the, when the dollar Canada goes higher, the price of the Canadian dollar goes lower. And uh, that is uh, uh, when lower oil prices uh, tend to uh, uh, hurt the uh, Canadian dollar. And that's, I think, what we're seeing here as the uh, U.S. dollar is mostly lower against m m many of the other currency pairs. So um, uh, the uh, higher, higher dollar Canada has been uh, influenced by the price of crude oil. Now, uh, technically uh, speaking, if the uh, price, going back to the daily chart, if the price were to move back below the 137.04 level, then uh, things would uh, start to look a little more uh, dicey on the fail break here. But if we uh, stay above that level, well, then the upside really doesn't have a lot off the daily chart until 138.07, about 50, 60 pips away from current levels. Right now, uh, that is where uh, th this uh, other swing area comes between 138.07 and 138.59. Uh, we did have uh, the uh, swing swing high for the, or the high for the year at the 138.61. Uh, by the way, so we are uh, looking like it's re looking to retrace the entire move to the downside that we saw in 2023. Going going back to that hourly chart, uh, we are running away from the 100-hour moving average and have been over the last uh, one, two, three trading days. This will be the fourth day uh, higher in a row. And uh, uh, so uh, be aware of that. Uh, so we are a little bit overbought, but um, you know it's hard to ignore the buyers and the technicals that are uh, forcing the price out to the upside here. Uh, close uh, support might be the, um, uh, you know, if we start to move high, higher through here, uh, traders would start to look at the high from yesterday at 137.36 absent that and uh, you know it's really hard to see much else uh, maybe you can put a Fibonacci on the last move to the upside on the five minute chart here uh, and uh, uh, retrace uh, to 38.2 percent retracement or 50 percent retracement if we start to move below those levels of this uh, trend type move here then uh, perhaps uh, some of the uh, oomph of the upside and the overbought condition perhaps in the dollar versus Canada starts to unwind a little bit at least in the short term so there you have it a look at the dollar versus canon my name is greg michaelowski good fortune with your trading bye bye now